Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video we will discuss a little about the latest Windows 11 dev build release which is 22598.200 or KB5014105, a small update which almost went unnoticed. So then why would an update go unnoticed? Well, this is a new servicing pipeline update to test Windows upgrade channels ahead of the preview testing of the next major update. So if you don't know what the servicing pipeline is, basically it's the medium through which you get all the updates and of course testing this pipeline is crucial to make sure your update experience happens accordingly. That means there's nothing new under the sun with this update. But in case you didn't update Windows 11 recently, this build also contains the fixes and improvements from the previous build, so it's worth mentioning just a few in case you decide updating. For example, there's a few nice enhancements to the new media player, which you can now use as an equalizer to further make your music listening experience better, and other features like video enhancements to modify certain visual aspects of a video in real time. Moving on, Microsoft is now pushing Windows Spotlight directly on the desktop by default on new devices which just had a clean install of Windows 11 for those using the ISO and for upgrades where the background is actually the Windows 11 default background. Microsoft also stated that the Spotlight app is trying out new 4K desktop backgrounds, but this will be visible only to a limited number of insiders, which makes sense if you don't have a 4K display. And one last improvement with this build, in the taskbar, the tooltip on the volume icon has been updated to tell you when you're using spatial sound, another small change which adds to many of the great changes Windows 11 is getting lately. There's also a few fixes like the famous memory leaks which happened because of some problematic DLLs and fixes with the user account control which are now long gone and actually made Windows 11 faster. So if you decide to update now you will get all these new features and fixes which are worth trying out. So then what's your opinion on this update? Let us know in the comment section below and as usual if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.